Hello and welcome to another edition of Location. I'm Jamie Santoro. And I'm Casey Minnick. And on this week's episode, we'll be covering top stories such as student reform, allergy season, and Cabrini College's course. Stay tuned for more. According to Pollen.com, the national algae forecast is not looking positive for this area as well as for most of southeastern Pennsylvania. It is forecasted that the high levels of pollen that we are experiencing will be here for most of the season. Fighting off allergies may be easier than you thought though. Over-the-counter medications, along with simple preventative measures like wearing outdoor sunglasses, showering more often to clear your sinuses, and closing car and home windows should be what keeps you strong this allergy season. Recently, the Active Minds Club here at Cabruni held a de-stressing event to help students wind down before finals. Let's take a look with Mary Ellen. Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen Anastasio on location, and we're here at East Res, and this lovely lady is going to the Active Minds event, which is a de-stress event. I'm the president of Active Minds. Active Minds is an organization on campus dedicated to pr promoting mental health awareness. We just try and have activities just kind of spread um, knowledge of mental health and let people know that they can come forward if they have any problems and seek help. Hi, my name is Courtney Burns. I'm vice president of Active Minds. Active Minds is more of a smaller group on campus. It's now, it's gonna be four girls and we're trying to make it a bigger group. We wanna promote uh, well-being on campus. We usually do about one big project um, a year. Last year we did the handprints for 1,100 college students that commit suicide a year and then this year we did post secret. Tonight we're making stress balls and we have water ice and pretzels so students could just relax for a little bit, take a 20 minute break for studying for finals and such, just make a stress ball, it's really easy. We have balloons and sand and we have lots of material on different stress busters, way to um, relieve anxiety. I don't know what you were doing Tuesday night, but I was de-stressing with Active Minds. So this is Mary Ellen Anastasio, signing off from location. See you later! As springtime is here, the Cabrini College Chorus is gearing up for another concert which will take place on Sunday, May 3rd in the Grace Hall Atrium. The chorus is ending the semester by offering selections from Josh Groban to a medley from Andrew Lloyd Webber. The performance will also include the gospel arrangement of When the Saints Go Marching In. Traditionally, these concerts have caused a positive turnout in the college community. Because of this, the atrium seats are filled and mostly standing room only tickets are available. Contact Dr. Adeline Bethany for more information. And now, let's check in with Jake and Gianna on the dirt sheet. What's up, all you stars and studs? I'm Jake Veterano. And I'm Gianna Chicatino. Welcome to the dirt sheet. You're exclusive to entertainment. American TV goers who could not change the channel fast enough were scared to death after seeing Heidi's new face and body on The Hills' last season premiere commercials. After 20-something procedures, Heidi is looking like a hot and scary mess. If you haven't seen her yet, you've been warned! Well, Mother of the Year, Kate Gosselin finally returns to her eight. The reason why is because America realized she cannot dance as her low voting and judging scores eliminated her from Dancing with the Stars. Kate claims, oh, I wasn't kidding when I said I wasn't a dancer. Well, no, duh, did you just realize that now? Well, our father of the year, Tiger Tiger Woods, while attending a Nickelback concert, was shocked when he found out that Elon flew back to Sweden with the kids. Tiger and Elon are in the midst of a divorce crisis. Well, that's a hole in one for you, Tiger. Way to go! Many pop fans are wondering what happened to Riri. 
After performing a sold out show in Switzerland on April 19th, she was admitted into an accident and emergency clinic. Hopefully there wasn't a rude boy around prior to this incident because there is not any information released as to why she even went to the emergency room. Well, that's all the time we have for you this week. Stay tuned next week for more entertainment news. I'm Gianna Chikatino. And I'm Jake Bertorano. The Glamazon. Now back to the studio. Recently approved legislation will create a more efficient federal student loan system. The government's intent was to ensure that students, colleges, and taxpayers were best assisted in the lending process. The Education Reconciliation Act, under a provision under the H.R. 4827 bill, will give the government full control over federal loans and will redirect funding to the federal Pell Grant program. It will save the government around $61 billion over 10 years. In addressing the Northern Virginia Community College in Alexandria, President Obama said that the bill was one of the most significant investments in higher education since the GI Bill. Current Cabrini and other university students will not be affected. Has spring really sprung? Let's find out with your weather forecast with Liz. Hi everybody, I'm Liz and I'm here to bring you your weather forecast for the next few days. Thursday, there's going to be partly cloudy skies with highs around 68. Friday, it looks like there are going to be sunny skies with highs remaining in the upper 60s. Saturday, the nice weather continues with partly cloudy skies throughout the day and the temperatures staying in the 60s. To end your weekend, there's going to be some showers on Sunday with highs in the lower 60s. That's all I have for you today. Back to you at the news desk. And now let's take a trip around the world. European skies are open for business again after a week-long closure due to an Icelandic volcano erupting last week. But officials say the headache is not over yet, as it could take weeks to get all of the stranded passengers home. I am a little afraid. I am hopeful that the plane will take off and that it won't meet with any volcanic ash, said a concerned passenger about the ash stopping the engines from running. In Pretoria, South Africa, a luxury train derailed shortly after leaving the city center station. 17 coaches of the Rovo's rail derailed, two are dead, and 25 others were taken to the hospital. The reason for the derailment is not clear at this time. And now let's check in with Nick for your two-minute drill. What's going on, all you sports fans? Nick Goulden here with your two-minute drill. After last Thursday's start against Washington, Jay Happ said he felt soreness in his left elbow. The MRI showed that he had a mild muscle strain, and Ruben Amaro said he will miss at least his next start. The Eagles recently traded a late draft pick to the Detroit Lions in order to acquire Ernie Sims, the ninth overall selection in the 2006 draft. Sims is a linebacker with outstanding speed, which is what the Eagles are looking for in a defensive player. Matt Millen, the Lions' former general manager, said, he had problems with hitting so hard, he knocked himself out a bunch of times. If Sims can control his strength, I'm positive he'll fit right in with the vicious Eagles defense. The Flyers won their third game of the seven-game series in the Battle of the Turnpike against the New Jersey Devils 4-1 to one on Wednesday night. Just one more win will send the Flyers to the second round of the playoffs. Senior golfer Chris Lawler has been named the CSAC Golfer of the Week for the second consecutive week. Lawler guided the Cabrini golf team to a first place performance at the Immaculata University Invitational and a seventh place finish at the Ursinus College Invitational. And now it's time for your game of the week. Cabrini College faced off against Philadelphia Biblical University in a doubleheader on Tuesday. Cabrini dominated with strong field play and some big swings at the plate. With strong pitching and defensive plays from Liz Zimmer, they were able to shut down the Eagles' attack. Sammy Thompson also came up strong with a hard defensive play that didn't let anything by her as she throws a runner out at first. There were a few big hits, but Cabrini was able to get even with scoring runs. It was Angela Schuster that came up big with the long ball in the left yard. She took her stroll around the bases and helped cement the Cavs win 6-3 while she was greeted at the plate by her teammates. And that's your Game of the Week. That's all I have for you guys this week. Tune in next week for more sports coverage.
Thanks for watching this week's location. Be sure to tune next week for another great web edition. I'm Jamie Santoro. And I'm Casey Minnick, and thanks for stopping by.